The ground is cold and wet, blanketed in white. Snow falls as the wind sweeps it up through the trees and out of sight. Exposure to the cold, one of the three main pillars of the Wim Hof method. While you shouldn't try it without professional training, it's a very interesting subject to study. Basic science tells us that exposure to cold temperatures can cause hypothermia and shock. However, Wim Hof has shown that by perfecting his method, he can seemingly defy science and benefit from such cold exposure. Do you think the Wim Hof method stands to be a powerful tool? Is it science or is it mind over matter? Welcome to another adventure. Well, that was an exciting way to start a video. Let me tell you, do not try that at home. It is extremely dangerous. Everyone on YouTube makes it look so glamorous and peaceful and relaxing. I had to try it because scientifically there's a lot of data out there that says there's health benefits to cold water bathing, but that was intense. I'm gonna stick to kale smoothies and hot springs. It's definitely more my style. I guess winter's still here. I thought spring was knocking on the door, but Mother Nature had another plan. We got a big snowstorm, a bunch of snow came down. I can't go skiing though because they're all closed for lightning and wind. I'm not really sure. In the meantime, let's do something fun. Let's go. We're gonna do some snow wheeling. Isn't it beautiful out? Just enjoying the sound of the snow and the river. Just gotta find a camp spot. This season has been quite bizarre. Lots of snow during December, very little for three months, and then boom, a bunch of snow at the end. It doesn't look like much here, but this is at lower elevation. Well, I couldn't get any fresh tracks on the mountain today, so my little baby truck behind me is gonna get some fresh truck tracks. Look at this, I didn't think this would be possible, but no one's run tracks through here yet. Let's go. Up top, the storm dropped around 24 inches, and while it was heavy and very wet snow, I was still grateful for some last minute winter fun. The snow was so wet, it nearly turned into a mudding adventure. But don't worry, I'm saving that for springtime. The skies were gray with snow clouds. It was cold, but not cold enough for those big, fluffy snowflakes. Can you hear the little ice bits hitting the ground? I kind of like the way it sounds. Whoa, check this out. This is crazy. Okay, so this is the truck and that's a lake. Can you see that? And it kind of looks like the lake ran into the road. I can't really tell. Should we proceed? Welcome to Hannah's Off-Road Adventures where we like sink my truck into a lake. <laughs> but really, I don't know if I should proceed onward. This is so crazy. It almost looks like a dark fairy tale. Like a mangrove in the mountains. What if there are crocodiles? <laughs> Speaking of crocodiles, make sure you subscribe because next week there's going to be a bunch of them. And if the episode doesn't air, then the croc gulped me. And I changed my hat because I wanted to look like Steve Irwin. Much love, my friend. Let's go. Okay, enough clowning around. Just one more last snow shot and we'll find a camping spot. This looks like a great place to pop up, cook some food and relax for a bit. And then hopefully tomorrow will be the last and really the last day of snowboarding. And then get ready for some tropical adventures. Well, I'm all set up. Let's jump inside, get warm and you can help me make some food.
Welcome to Hannah's Kitchen. Tonight, da -da -da -da, we're making jambalaya. Well, a quicker, healthier version of jambalaya. I grew up in the South for a large portion of my childhood, so I love a lot of the Cajun Southern recipes like gumbo, paella, jambalaya, and Sometimes I go all out and spend many hours making those dishes, but a lot of times I also do it really quickly with a healthier version or alternative. Tonight I'm using chicken sausage, but usually it has a combination of sausage, chicken, and shrimp. You know how I feel about shrimp. I've been eating shrimp probably a little bit too much. So I figured tonight we're gonna switch it up with some chicken sausage. <laughs> Not many seeds left in there, which is awesome. Chicken sausage. This is a lot of sausage, but I'll have leftovers. Okay. Yellow peppers, red peppers, ah! and onions. All in. Solid garlic. For some flavor. A combination of cayenne pepper, pepper flakes, some crushed thyme, then some Cajun seasoning. Then we're gonna let it simmer and thicken for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, now that my rice is cooked, we're going to go ahead and add in chicken sausage, green onions on top. There's so many different variations of jambalaya. But this is a fast, easy one that you can make on the go. Open wide! Mm. Okay, that'll do it. Signing off for today. See you tomorrow morning. Like any good story, winter must come to an end. And in a sense, this feels like a goodbye for now. The storm is a perfect way to close out the season. I embrace winter with its strong northern winds and white mountain peaks, and look forward to spring for its fields of flowers, rivers, and creeks. The summer is warm and the sun is ablaze. Then fall rolls around with those crisp autumn days. I say goodbye to the winter with a fun, mellow run and look forward to Mother Nature's next chapter in the sun. Hope you caught that little caution sign I missed. Oh shoot. Not going down the chute.